Hi guys, this is Ingo from Bicycle Beyond. How are you today? Well, uh, we had a pretty, pretty miserable day today, raining all day, but the sun is coming out, so I couldn't resist to go for a little ride. Well, uh, I just wanted to show you a, a beautiful climb here. It's called uh, Schönebach. It's from a little village called Bietzau. It goes up to over uh, a thousand meters to a uh, middle alp called Forsis Schönenbach famous for a beautiful setting and uh, famous for their uh, for the Prinzerwilder Kespitzli basically it's like flour, egg put them like little dumplings put them in hot water and then mix them up with local cheese grated cheese and uh, good old roasted onions on top with a lot of butter good salad green salad and a nice cold beer you're in heaven well i'm gonna cycle up now it's roughly about eight kilometers not too steep five six seven percent i call it little pensioner hill and uh, yeah hope you enjoy it we'll see you up there and keep you posted along the river through the forest Shade, beautiful. It's a private road, so there's not much traffic here. First couple of kilometers is relatively flat. Look at that. If you have a license, you can fish here. Trouts. Mountain biking is uh, very popular, and even more e-bikers nothing against e-bikers uh, I believe every movement you do is good for you I think e-bikes are good uh, especially for elderly people who otherwise would sit at home or yeah people who never did any sport and the doctor all of a sudden told him, ah, guy, guys, you need to do something. So, yeah, it's a good entry. But obviously, the flip side is, obviously, people tend to be on the lazy side, many. And they go the easy route. So, for me personally, I like sweating or uh, getting out of breath like I am now so it's getting a bit steeper now enjoy the view so the steepest part is behind me it's another uh, three k's should be there 950 meters now Beautiful Sweating But as we say Excuses Don't burn calories So Let's get into Schönebach Here we come and then 50 meters so I'm just gonna show you two beautiful things uh, first of all is uh, the famous as I told you earlier Case Knüpfle famous uh, restaurant obviously they serve other stuff as well but that's their their main dish the biggest seller people come from far to taste those and, that, and that, they are really great and uh, just here on the corner 
it's another interesting thing I'll show you in a second well uh, I'm gonna put a couple of uh, links in the description below and any question you have about bicycle beyond myself about do as I do why I do it I explain you more uh, do not hesitate to ask write a comment let's chat so a bit little downhill we go right at the end show you the place these so-called forces in German it's a uh, middle Alp so usually uh, April, May they bring the cows from the farms at the bottom of the valley up here to use this area to feed them and uh, about four weeks they stay here for some, some places six weeks and then they go up to the high Alps uh, anything between 1500 and 2000 meters uh, that's where they stay until usually beginning of September where they make the most famous local Bergkäse beautiful cheese absolutely amazing no uh, artificial nothing it's nature pure and when they come down from the Alps they go another four usually four to six weeks back down here and then back down usually uh, somewhere in in October they go down to the valley and they spend the winter down there. That's how it works here. This is Schönebach. Regen there. Uh, it's closed today. Look at that. Usually you can sit outside here and have your beer, your local dish. Just go over there. <clears throat> Do a little round. I did pretty well cycling up today. Good shape today. It's the yellow socks. Try to head down to the obviously now currently in Austria. We do some big tours in Italy. So be prepared. It's gonna be interesting and then obviously we head down to Spain. So keep a good eye on this vlog all cycling lovers it's perfect cycling is my passion and uh, yeah love to share it with you guys now guys check this out Alpe Kritzboden one of the Alps here you know they are actually having a little cheese stand here so if you are a tourist you're in the area you can pick up from Christoph a good old cart or if you're interested in his cheese family's cheese or sausage or just get some information or take one it's open this one costs 7 euros 50 so it's pretty reasonable for all handmade beautiful alpine cheese there's a lot of work behind that and how much is the sausage let's have a look Dauerwurst 7 euros so 8 9 dollars here something else this is Holunder Blüten Gelee 200 grams elderflower some sort of marmalade and uh, obviously you just pick one and pay here it's an honesty bar so 
I know countries uh, where they first of all they would nick the cheese, the sausage, then the money, and possibly at the end the fridge as well. So not here. Here, I don't think anything happens. Metzgerei Stefan Ritlop. Yeah, that's it. Look at that. What a view. Handmade. So shelter as well. If it rains, people can sit in and have a good old cheese. Bring your bread. Perfect. Look at that location. No cars. Birds. Great. Right, guys, I'm heading down to the valley now. I'm going to have a time warp modus. So it's going to be a pretty fast one because you know how it looks like. But I just still want to record the downhill as you do. And I'll speak to you at the bottom. Yeah. See you in a minute. Hi guys, back in the valley, beautiful downhill, just two guys popped in my head, uh, first of all Micha from good old Germany, from Saarland, I went down with him once here, mental case, full steam in my head, I couldn't hardly see him, gone, gone, gone with the wind, no mercy when it comes to downhill, but uh, uphill, you know, I'm still here. Well, and another guy, greetings to Jerry in the UK. We once went uh, downhill in Gavia, Gavia Pass in uh, Italy. And he, Peter and I, we couldn't follow him. Gone, gone. Five minutes he was waiting at the bottom for us. So even he wrote the book about how to descend fast. So if you want to know more insights about how to do it properly, uh, Jerry, you need to give me your link of your book. You might be able to sell a few. Absolutely amazing. And hope to see you guys again soon. Somewhere in Bormio. It was a fantastic training camp. Stelvio, uh, Gavia, Mortirolo from both sides. Uh, beautiful. Yep, fantastic weather. Drank some wine. Well, hope to see you guys soon. And uh, another thing I wanted to mention. Hope you liked this episode of this vlog and um, keep on subscribing please and uh, click the button bell and so you are always up to date you know what's going on where I am what we are doing and your support is much appreciated yeah thank you very much and see you soon I'm signing out see you later